Well, hello everybody, and I welcome you to another episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the PC. We're really just getting started. Let's go for our first real quest, shall we? So, of course, we will eventually fill most, if not all, of these slots with characters, but at the moment, all we have is... I was going to say Kyle Katarn, but that's KOTOR 2. I'm going to have to wait until we get outside to find out what his name is again. Right, you alien scum. Karth or Everybody Garth? Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! So let's just spin around and see what this guy's name... Oh, I'm too close. It's not going to show me his name. Okay, well, let's get on with this battle then. Ah, stop spinning around. You're driving me cra crazy. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. I'll explain that after the battle, what was going on there. Okay. So I'm going to take a sniper shot at you, and another one at you, and then another one, and come back to you. And let's get, I'm pretty sure it was Karth, now that I think about it. Actually, no, let's disengage from there, and we'll send you fighting that guy. Let's see how we do for our first battle. Uh-huh. When someone comes searching for this patrol, Jawana Bota Ayua Tahonga Chakanki Dora, Kachi Kuita Hodonga, Topa da Bungwalia Gando, Donago Chut Chut, Muxa Papampa, Bola Wana Chitne, Bamuli Slamo, Uba Batu Gochi, Tom Nongbong Chang Nung Yang. So we have a bit of a problem with the voiceovers there. The aliens tend to chatter yes. on for quite a long time, and I kind of want to read their speech out because they don't read it out in English clearly. But they're speaking as quietly as I want to put it, and I don't want to speak over top of it. So basically, I'll just have to let you guys read the alien speech off the screen. As I recall, there's not a great deal of it. If I reduce the volume of voiceovers, that gets rid of the English voiceovers too, so it's kind of problematic. Alright, so we got a level up. Not much to do here, just skills on this particular level. And we'll just stick with the skills we have. And actually, I don't want to go back, but it's too late. Recommended. Yeah. And accept. And I got sneak attack level 2. Alright. Now, what was happening there where the mouse seemed to be going crazy is if I go to the edge of the screens, it actually rotates for me. I can also use the keyboard. But unfortunately, with this old game, it actually lets me put my mouse onto my other monitor, and then I lose the mouse, and it goes nuts. So if you see that happening, at least now you know why. And the guy's name is Karth. Okay. It's not Kyle. Katarn. So even as a good character, it's usually worthwhile to break into these rooms. You can apologize, so you don't ruin your... What do they call it? Um, how other people think of you. Jeez, I can't think of a standard English word. But we're going to be breaking into the rooms and, and suffer the consequences. Let me just do a quick save. No problem. Got it. There may be quests. Who 
are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. So here we can be a bad guy and just rob them. And they actually get out of the way or you have to kill them or whatever the case may be. But as I said, I'm playing the good guy, so... I'm, I'm sorry, I was just uh, investigating the area. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Ooh, do I smell a quest? Holden? Who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. So, if we've upped my charisma high enough, we might be able to persuade her. And we actually can just keep going in a loop until we do. Well, I suppose you seem like an alright sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Maybe I could speak to Holden for you. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I still want to ask you some questions. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. So we could again turn bad, kill her, and collect the bounty she discussed. But I'll be going now. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. So, guess what we have? A quest. And there's usually in these rooms, there is things to loot. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stick with the whole I'm a nice guy thing. Pleased to meet you, Larim. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Pleased to meet you, Larim. My name is Garrick Khan. Oh, yes, so it is. I forgot what your name was. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Would you like to buy my high-tech shield? What's so great about these energy shields? And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Where did this technology come from? Anything else? So all that chatter basically was discussing how the shields work. They are items you put on your wrist and they absorb some energy damage. Let me see what you've got for sale. So all that chatter was basically, he's a vendor. Achuta. So here we go. This is what he has for sale. And in here we can switch to sell and get rid of our extraneous stuff. You know, like, like clothing and whatnot. But as I said before, there's unlimited inventory space. So I tend to just let it pile up unless there is something specific I need to buy or want to buy and I don't have the credits. And that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to skip. So I'm going to show the buy list and show you what the shields look like. We could buy some combat armor. But you can see it's, it's fairly heavy and we're probably going to find it anyway. And there's nothing stopping us from coming back here later if we decide to. And let's see if there's any implants. Stimulants are injections temporary boost to your skills. I don't see any implants at this point. So we'll leave it at that for now and hope we stumble across stuff. 
So you can see we have our mini-map up here, and if I hit M, I get the full version. And it does the map notes for you. I'm actually going to be sort of anally retentive here, and I'm going to walk to the edge of her apartment to fill it out. I have a method to that madness. It lets me know that I have actually visited a particular apartment as a reminder rather than just say walking past it because you can see here I do get some of the apartment lit up even though all I've done is come up to the door no problem got it now some of these when I open them do end up involving me as a, in a fight that's just the risk you take Pudu Tony Rama na praka donko searcha chupapanki so nothing here. If I was a bad character, I would rob the store. Rob the store. Oh, I hate when this happens. And I don't think there's anything you can do to like convince him to move. Ready. You, you can switch characters. Sure. And oh, that's problematic. Ready. That's really annoying. How do I get out of here? If I switch characters, sure. There we go. Okay. Well, uh -huh. that, that's close to a bug if I ever saw one. But we managed to get out of there. I was trapped in that corner, and every time I switch characters, they actually switch positions and left me trapped anyway. So, anyway, doesn't matter. We eventually got out of it. And if you're wondering, no, that doesn't happen very often. Okay, that's out of this area, so let's continue around and just clean up the rest of these vacant and not so On vacant it. apartments. It's open. And I believe this is just another guy that says, Oh, don't hurt me. Yeah. And I'm not sure, I don't think there's actually any downside to robbing them, even as a good character, if you felt like it. So nothing in here. And we're almost all the way round. On it. It's open. So this one's empty. So I suppose there could be somebody that lives here, but it's enough of a question that I'm happy to loot this particular one. And again, with the unlimited uh, inventory, there's no point in not picking up everything you find. And I'm just going to do my anally retentive thing here again and just... Oh, don't do this to me again. Okay. Oh, I thought of a way you could escape if you got permanently stuck. You can actually go to the map and you can... Oh, transit's currently disabled. It usually isn't. But what transit does is return you to home base. So that would be one way to escape most times. And this is us, I believe. Yes, hideout. So that's us. So we've done the complete lap. I'm just going to head around and head to the upper city. So that's the elevator icon. And I shouldn't have done that. We're back. <laughs> Uh, F4 is quick save, F5 is quick load, so you can you can bet what I just did there. So let's get this no taken problem. care of. I'm going to actually uh, just pause fraps while I do this and get myself caught up again. That was a silly mistake. I shall be right back.